Now the last time you saw me doing a makeup video, I made a really big rookie mistake. <laughs> I hadn't checked to make sure that it had fully uh, video the whole thing. So I was a bit embarrassed when I sent it and I saw it out because not it, it all wasn't it, not all of it was there basically. So I'm hoping that this lighting is looking good and that you can see what I'm doing. I have got everything ready and I have in fact tried to learn how to do contouring on my face. So this is going to be interesting because I haven't done any contouring <laughs> in, in my life before and um, I am not used to doing my makeup. I used to do it every day for school. So here we go. I'm going to start with the Body Shop's foundation but before then obviously I have put my found my proper foundation on which is moisturizer okay and then let your moisturizer settle into your skin now I tend to use my hands a lot when doing makeup because it's just it just makes life a lot easier Here we go. Right, and then I'm gonna put it down like that. <laughs> Gosh. And then I put it in between my forehead, onto my eyes, and all the way around, and just blend it all into my skin, not being afraid to go up to the hairline and down underneath my chin, around my chin down my neck a little bit um because at the end of the day it's always extra a little bit of extra sun protection not a lot but a little right okay i think that that is all on i'm probably doing this in the entirely wrong order i think i am but since i haven't got a primer for my eyeshadow i'm gonna do it in this order <laughs> uh right okay so now I'm washing my hands uh, with a bit of soap. Get that on my fingers because I don't like getting my product packaging covered in product. So here we go. <laughs> so there is the foundation on. Now the reason why I'm going to do my eyes the next stage is and the concealer is because when I put on my powder, I want to be able to conceal all the accidental mistakes that are bound to happen, particularly with me personally, <laughs> uh, bound to happen with me personally, because I usually, you know, with, with my whole blindness and that, I, I tend to make a lot of mistakes. So I've got my little makeup brush, my um, eyeshadow brush, and I'm just reaching out for my eyeshadows. Again, this is a body shop. Um, this is the palette that I've got. It's a pretty nice palette, but for today, I am gonna go for something really light um, because I want it to be able to blend in and look okay. I don't wanna make a mistake with it. And if I use more than one color, I could make quite a big mistake. So I've just brushed my brush onto it and then <laughs> now in order to do this because obviously there's such small um, surface areas I tend to hold the tip of my brush rather than what normal people do which is hold the um, the end of their brushes and have full control I tend to just do the bottom edge of my brush uh, in order to make sure I've got a flat surface, I just feel the edge of the the metal where it, it holds holds the um, the brush tip, and then I can check which side I've got. Um, now I'm hoping that that's got all of the lid, because I've just gone from the inner corner of my nose. All the way around the inner lid now I am aware that you could put like three different colors on and make it dead fancy but again you know, I'm risking quite a lot of possible mistakes so I'm just gonna do an everyday look today 
again I'm doing the same on my other eyelid you have to really know your face in order to do your makeup the other thing is is you have to know which makeup kind of uh, teachers that there are um, that can give you an idea of <laughs> what to use on the type of face you have because I have hooded eyes where well, other people have lots of different types of eyes now if you're interested in types of eyes you could possibly have then go check out Glamour uh, the Glamour YouTube channel is very good at explaining types of eyes and all I did was go to a trusted person which I think is the hardest part about being blind is finding my trusted person in order to to tell me whether I have got things correct or not um, because people can be mean you know and they can tell you things that just aren't true because they don't want to hurt your feelings uh, now I am going for my eyeliner <laughs> which I use a brown eyeliner because I, I just don't have the, um, the facial uh, look, the, the colouring, you know, I'm quite, I'm white basically, I'm quite light white and when I put on black eyeliner it makes my skin look a little bit kind of uh, an odd pinky reddish colour apparently so with my eyeliner, I would put my finger just by my nose and I'm going to put it right into the corner. Now I am hoping that this is actually going onto my eyelid. So I'm just doing the top lid first. By the way, if you're not used to this, you may well get a few tears. So buy yourself waterproof eyeliner. Because once you've got it on, it is on. And, you know, you, you, you know, if you're a teenager at school and someone's horrible to you, you're not going to end up with a streaky face. Okay? So I'm hoping that to the sighted, you'll be able to see the difference there and there. And that it's actually gone on. But the fact is, is that I just don't know. Um, and I'm not going for great big eyeliner look I'm going for nice thin eyeliner look because with hooded eyes your eyes look quite small um, and it can be quite difficult to do because the folds of the skin on your eyelids and your eyebrows tend to pick up the colour that you have just put onto your eye so there is my eyeliner done and I'm going to move on to my mascara. This is the hardest thing ever because I usually just get it on my nose. Um, hopefully that should have set dry but do remember these things take time to dry. Now when I'm doing my um, <laughs> mascara I'm not only just doing a silly face like all the other girls do. Okay. I bring it to my face and then bring it away from my face. My bottom shelf on my eyes is harder to do because quite frankly I have very small eyelashes and they're very blonde. <laughs> Unfortunately for me I am a blonde and I tend to get it on you know the the little cr uh, I forgot what you call it now. The bottom of my eye, I call it like a shelf because it is kind of like a shelf. The bottom creasy bit of my eye. Oh gosh, I've done that so badly. Oh well. All right, now I'm opening my eye and I'm just going down with the brush. Uh, I don't know whether it's clumped or not. Not a clue. And I'm just gonna keep my eyes half closed because, as I said, I have hooded eyes. And the likelihood is is that it'll be picked up by the top level of skin up here and I'll get it everywhere. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going to wash my hands in a bit of soap um, and then I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to use a bit of tissue towel 
to kind of dry my hands but also rub off some of the bottom layer of possibly badly done mascara okay now I don't think that I've got it on the sides of my nose because I usually get a dot on each side of my nose because I'm really awful at that <laughs> right so I'm gonna let that set okay I haven't really let that set massively uh, so now I'm going to use my invisible face powder all over my face. Now, remember when you're you to this, make sure to do it over the sink and without your clothes on. <laughs> that's, that's the advice I'm going to give you because otherwise you will end up going to school with it all over your blouse and our blouses were a bright blue colour which doesn't go down well with teachers again i am no idea if i've got it on the brush and i'm just gonna tap it off a bit i'm gonna close my eyes i'm gonna start from the middle of my forehead with my brush and i'm gonna do the little circling motions around my face in order to get it all over my face and under my chin now i've just kind of segmented the face off a little bit um, in the hopes that that will um, help with the the blending aspect of doing this to my face the bottom part of the eye on the nose in between the eyebrows a bit and get it in kind of all of the creases of my face I've decided not to use concealer <laughs> Uh, I don't think I need it for today. I haven't got that many um, bad blemishes. Then I put it underneath my chin as well. And then all the way up to my hairline. That I found really difficult in the beginning with a brush because it's kind of like you can't feel it. You just, you can't feel it at all. Uh, but you get used to it. Right, okay. So if there's tears coming on the right side, just ignore that. <laughs> the reason why that's happened is because I had a facial palsy when I was about 14 and I still have the muscle weakness and the damage. So now, <laughs> now I'm going to do something entirely new to me, which is my bronzer. Okay, I'm going to put on my bronzer and then I'm going to put on my blush. And then I'm going to put on my lippy. So here is my bronzer. Brand new Clinique bronzer. It's a lovely gold colour as well. Uh, gosh. There we go. It's got a nice little click lid. Right, here we go. Just put my thumb in it. <laughs> Just to find out whether I could actually use it. Right, so here is my brush. I'm just going to take it on. It might be a bit big, this brush, but no idea whether I've got it on or not. But here we go. Start at the top of the forehead, going down in circles, just to about there, in a, in a three motion. In a, a number three action so then I'm gonna go on to the other side because I think I will still have some powder there just to the top of the cheek inwards and then back round by your ears all the way down to the side of your jawline there and then if you have a square face like me you might well put a little bit under the chin Right, okay. There we go. So, hopefully that doesn't look too bad. I have no idea, guys. <laughs> but I'm hoping it doesn't look too bad. It can't look terrible. I'm going to put that back in its box because that makes it easier to find and keep clean. Right, now I am going to find my blusher which is here. I've had my blusher for ages now. 
Uh, but I have checked with the lady, there is still some powder in there, so we will still get an effect from it. Um, I'm going to take that out. I'm going to... There we go. Now, when you're doing your blusher, start just underneath where you put your bronzer and on the bone of your cheeks. Now, the bone of your cheeks, just underneath the bone of your cheeks, sorry, is going to be different dependent on your face. Not many people have fully symmetrical faces, okay? So don't feel weird about putting it slightly lower on one half than you do on the other half. It will make it look symmetrical and look more normal and natural as you've done it. So now <laughs> I'm going to put on my lippy, okay? And then I have a lip sealer somewhere in here. There we go. Got my lip sealer. And then I've got my lippy. So, there we go. Right. Now, lipsticks are great because they're kind of con... I'm going to say contoured to um, kind of match the way your lips go. So what you do, what I do, is kind of like the same as when I put toothpaste in my mouth. <laughs> I put it to my mouth to find the edge of the lipstick. And I put it around like that. Yes, I do know I have a whole load on flat on there. Then I'm rolling my lips round each other so that I can take off some of the excess. I'm going to help myself because obviously I have my facial palsy. There we go, don't press too hard. That should take off the excess. And then I'm going to put this on, which is my lip concealer, so that when I have a drink in a bar, it won't go anywhere on the glass. <laughs> so what's the point in putting on makeup? What's the point in putting on makeup if it just ends up on the surfaces of things? Now when I do this, I do it the same with everything else. I just feed it on my face and it takes practice after practice after practice. But once you've got it, it works. <laughs> now, this is new to me. I am going to use my sealant spray. Now when I use a spray, I always find the hole with my thumb. I put it a bit back because I want a good spray. There we go. I'm hoping that I don't get it in my mouth actually. <laughs> and then I'm going to leave it like that and voila, there is my makeup fully done. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and thank you for watching. See you soon.